Hey guys, this is Bo, uh, back for your week two explanation. Um, so in week two, we are taking our stations from last week and each one of the stations, we're gonna make it just a little bit more advanced. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, draw our stations up here for you, okay? So last week, we had you do the down, all right, and you were to sit in a chair for that. That's probably a little small for our camera. All right, small. All right, so you were, the, the, the cue there was the human sitting down in the chair. Okay, then we had the human standing, and that was the cue for the dog to sit. All right, then we wanted to get two feet on that aerobic stepper we wanted you to just get the dog in the crate. And so all he had to do was throw a treat in there and then he would follow into the crate. And then we also wanted to get all four feet on the pet bed. Okay. All right, so that's from last week. That's what we did last week. Now we're gonna pull each one of these stations out. All right, let's see if we can see that. Yeah, you can see that on the camera, good. So we're gonna pull each one of these stations out and, and make it um, a little more advanced. Now the first thing is we're gonna add duration to every single station, okay? Now there is another video uh, that you should have the link for that talks about how we're gonna add duration, so I won't go into too much detail, just make this video longer. Um, but check out the adding duration video. That's going to be the first step to every single one of these. Okay. Um, the next thing we want to do, all right, is look at our down. So we're going to pull our down um, out and just focus on that for just a sec. So on the down, we want to add duration to it. We don't want the dog, you might notice already if you've been doing it for a week that the dog goes into the down, gets paid, and then they'll pop up again and then go back into the down trying to get the behavior to reoccur so they can get another payment, all right? We don't want the dog thinking that he has to come out of the down and back into it to get another payment. We want him to know that if he holds that behavior, that the payments will just keep flowing, okay? And that's why our first step is adding duration. Once again, check that other video for that, okay? So we're gonna add duration. The next thing that we're gonna wanna do with our down is we're gonna want to start to do it in multiple locations. Now, since you only had one down in your, um, in your circuit here, you probably more than likely did it at the same chair every single time all week long. So the dog may have some kind of an idea that that chair that you use has significance to it, but it doesn't. The significance <laughs> is in the fact that the human has sat down. So when the human sits, the dog is to do the down and the cue for the down is the human sitting. So what I want you to do is show the dog that no, it's not that one location we were using. It's me sitting that is the cue. So I want you to do the down in multiple locations. And what I would do is sit down in every single chair in the house, all right? Folding chair, kitchen chair, dining room, um, recliner, couch, sit on the edge of a futon, on the edge of a bed, go out and do the patio chair. Whatever you can find to sit on, you can sit on the stairs, okay? Um, let him understand that when I sit you down, that's just how this works, okay? So multiple locations to show him that it's more about the human sitting as the cue and less about the specific location that you were using throughout the week. Um, the next thing that I wanna do is start to pay for modifications. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, I really want to start to create like a service dog style down. And when you first start doing this, dogs will give you that real straight down. The one that's that basically it, their body is perfectly straight and it basically says, I'm willing, I'm ready to get up at any point in time. I'm staying ready. I don't want to relax too much because he might ask me to do something else. So I'm going to go down and maybe I'll get right back up. We want him to lay down and relax into this. So we wanna create that duration we've talked about. So I want the dog to go into the down and stay as well as relax, okay? Now what do dogs do as they relax? They're, you probably already have seen this in your own dog. They'll flip the hip, 
okay? When they flip the hip, they're getting comfy. They realize they're gonna be there a while. They pull in one paw, okay? My Border Collie will cross her paws, it's super cute. Um, and then they'll put their head down, okay? With bully breeds, you see that they do this, well, I've seen, I saw, there's a golden retriever that did it recently. They do this frog leg kind of a down where they lay down and then stick their legs out like a frog. It's really kind of funny. Um, but cute at the same time. And so we want to mark and pay for each one of those so that the dog starts to realize, oh, this human doesn't want me just to lay down. He wants me to lay down, stay, and relax, okay? So each one of those behaviors that dogs naturally do as they relax, we're gonna mark them and pay for them. So all right, here, hip flip, that's probably the big one you wanna look for. Um, pull in one paw, all right? Cross the paws. Now, guys, don't get upset if your dog doesn't cross his paws. That's a really rare one. My Border Collie does it. I had a St. Bernard in recently that did it. You see it. It's really cute when they do it, but it's rare. Maybe 10% of the dogs that come through naturally do it. Don't. It's not that big of a deal. If your dog pulls one paw in instead of crossing it, that's what he does. Just accept it, okay? The frog leg, where they put their frog legs out, um, and then head down. The head down is the hardest one to get. Takes the longest. Now the reason why I always add duration, you'll notice that your dogs aren't going to relax into this. They're not gonna relax into this, um, these behaviors until you've added duration. That's why we add duration first, okay? But by the time we're done, we want our pup to stay, we want our pup to relax, and also to understand that the cue is us sitting, not necessarily that specific spot, okay? So that's what we're gonna do to the down. All right, sorry about the barking dog. Hopefully that doesn't distract you in this video. But we are, we are in a dog training kennel, so. I don't know, there's a lot I can do right. So the next thing I wanna pull out and look at our pet bed and our crate, okay? Now, with the pet bed and the crate, okay? <clears throat> Last week, we just wanted them in the crate, one treat, and then we go. On the bed, one treat, and then we go. Again, the first thing you're gonna do is start to work on duration. Um, check out the duration video, all right? But by the time you're done working on the pet bed and the crate this week, I want you to create the exact same requirements for the pet bed and the crate that you did on the down, all right? So like, it's a bed. So what do we expect on a bed? Go there, lay down, stay, and relax. Same with the crate. When we put you in the crate, you're gonna be there a while. We're going to dinner, we're going to the movies, whatever it is, so go in the crate, turn around, lay down, flip the hip, put your head down, pull in one paw and relax, okay? So basically for the pet bed and the crate, we have the same exact requirements as the down, okay? Same requirements as the down. Um, now with our sit, the stand and the sit, I want you just to add duration to that. I don't have any other requirements for the sit, okay? Um, and the last thing though that we want to look at is our speed racer drill here, which is our two foot aerobic stepper. And you know what? I'm going to make a whole nother video on speed racer drill. So that's it for our stations part two for now.